we're putting the daily back in the daily press briefing. But that's just a start. We're seeking to empower our workforce, including our press officers, so that the, the department can operate on our toes, not on our heels, as the secretary likes to say. And speaking of the secretary, uh, you'll continue to see him just as you will continue to hear from our other officials. Our job, quite literally, uh, is to serve the public, and we do that in a number of ways. Above all, uh, we're seeking to implement the president's vision of a foreign policy that delivers for all Americans. Every policy we enact is about one thing, making life safer, easier, and more prosperous for our fellow citizens. And President Biden, Vice President Harris have made it clear that in everything we do, the first question we have to ask ourselves is this, how is it going to benefit our fellow Americans? How will this policy, how will this initiative, how will this outreach answer their needs, their values? How will it make their lives just a little bit better? That's the first question we have to ask. And we're gonna hold ourselves to that standard every step of the way. the message I want the world to hear today. America is back. America is back. Diplomacy is back at the center of our foreign policy. As I said in my inaugural address, we will repair our alliances and engage with the world once again, not to meet yesterday's challenges, but today's and tomorrow's. We must start with diplomacy rooted in America's most cherished democratic values, defending freedom, championing opportunity, upholding universal rights, respecting the rule of law, and treating every person with dignity. The United States will again lead, not just by the example of our power, but by the power of our example. 